Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Bedtime Storytime with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. I'm so happy that you have joined me this evening for story time. Tonight for story time, we are going to be reading about Paul and Bernadette. Paul and Bernadette, they're very unique because they're goldfish. But before we read our story together, let's say hello to one another. Are we ready? So we're gonna need our clapping hands and our arms because we're gonna clap, we're gonna stretch. We're going to maybe stomp our feet. Let's see how far we get. Are we ready? Let's count to five and let's practice our numbers today in French. So en français, ready? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Can you wave hello? And now, can you say hello? En français, bonjour. Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Can you wave hello? Can you say hello? Bonjour. Hello, my friends. All right. Are we ready for our story? Let's get comfy and let's get super cozy and let's read about Paul and Bernadette. So Paul meets Bernadette by Rosie Lamb. All right. Paul used to go around in circles. He made big circles and little circles. He circled from left to right, from right to left. He circled from the top and from the bottom. Fishbowl is circular, so it's pretty hard not to move in a circle. And then one day, Bernadette dropped in. And there's Bernadette, Paul and Bernadette. Can you see the difference? Paul is orange. Bernadette is orange as well with some red fruit. What are you doing? Bernadette asked Paul. I'm going round and round, says Paul. What else is there to do? Haven't you ever noticed that there's a whole world out there? There are so many things to see. Come on, let's go and look over here. And there's Paul and there's Bernadette. <gasps> oh, what do you think they're looking at, friends? Can you guess? Ready? <gasps> it's a banana. What do you think that yellow thing is, says Bernadette. <laughs> says Paul. That, says Bernadette, is a boat. Kind of looks like a boat too. Paul, Paul, come on over here, says Bernadette. Do you see the forest with trees of every color? Yes. Yes, I do, says Paul. How enchanting. Oh, a vase of flowers, and to them, it looks like a beautiful colored forest. Do you see that round thing off in the distance? What do you think that is, asks Bernadette. I just can't think, says Paul. That, says Bernadette, is a cactus. Are you ready? Is this a cactus? No way, it's an alarm clock, it's a clock. 
Right now it is five minutes past nine. Aha, says Paul, and what is that draped up there? Why, that is a lady's dress. Oh, that is a dress, yes, of course, of course. What else could it be, says Paul? And I think, Bernadette, that it would look very pretty on you. Again, it's not a dress, it's the newspaper. Quite the imagination. Paul spots something big and something blue. What is that, he says to Bernadette. That, says Bernadette, is an elephant. <gasps> and it's not. What is this? It's a teapot. But it does look like an elephant, doesn't it? If you use your imagination, that would be his trunk, his body, and his tail. Is she a dangerous elephant? asks Paul. She is not too dangerous, Bernadette tells Paul. But you must not disturb her when she is feeding her babies. Look up over there, Bernadette explains. A Lunetta butterfly. <gasps> How lovely is she? And there's their butterfly. It's a pair of reading glasses. Lunetta. And do you see the tall buildings over there, says Bernadette? That is a city. What is the name of this city, asks Paul. Milwaukee, Bernadette tells him. And there's their city and all their different sized buildings. And maybe she decided to call the city Milwaukee. She noticed that there's milk amongst the containers. Are those two brilliant yellow circles down there fried eggs? Paul asks Bernadette. Are you crazy? She says, of course they are not fried eggs. <gasps> that, Paul, is the sun and the moon. And you, Bernadette, are my star. There is just one more thing in the whole world, says Bernadette. What is it, asks Paul. Bernadette motions down below and tells him, it's a fish. They're looking at a spoon, though. Bernadette has shown Paul the whole world. And so Paul doesn't go around in circles anymore. He has something so much better to do. Isn't that wonderful? His world has become super colorful now. Now Paul goes around Bernadette. And there are Paul and Bernadette swimming in circles looking at all of the new things that the, the world wants to show them. And that, my friends, is the end of Paul meets Bernadette. How fun. He made a friend who helped him imagine and helped him discover so many different things that he hadn't before. That's pretty incredible. All right, my friends. Are we ready to have our big stretch and our yawn? But before we wave goodnight, let's sing our goodbye song. Are we ready? Okay, count of five in French again, en français. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Until next time. See you for story time. Story time, story time. I'll see you for story time again next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Bye, my friends. Have a wonderful sleep. Mm -hmm.